Hi, this is Sean from Rick's Motorsport Electrics. One question that we get asked a lot is how do you guys test stators in house? Of course, we can do a basic resistance and ground test with a multimeter, but how do you check the output without the motorcycle? We have a custom test setup right here in house where we can mount the stator and check the output without the bike. I'm going to show you exactly how we do it. All right, let's go. What we're doing here is using an industrial motor to turn this flywheel on a shaft that will turn around this stator that's going to be slid inside the flywheel. We're going to move the stator inside the flywheel and lock it in place. We're ready to test it out. This bank of AC voltmeters will measure the three outputs simultaneously. We'll be able to check the outputs and see if there's any kind of phase imbalance. Alright, let's spin it up. As we go up through the RPMs, we're seeing the voltage go up on all three phases identically, which is certainly what we're looking for. And we're going to top out about 3,000 RPMs right here. We got 48, 47, 48. So all three of them are putting out, and they're within 5% of each other. So this stator is good. All right, now I've swapped out that good stator that we just saw with a bad one. Let's spin this one up and see what happens. This time, as, as you uh, see the voltage numbers going up, obviously one of them is twice the other two. One of our generator winds is dead here. There's a major phase imbalance. This stator is definitely bad. All right, so that's a brief synopsis of how we do dynamic stator testing right here in-house. If you got any staters you'd like us to check out for you, give us a phone call or send us an email.